three questions to set you up for success. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 72. And a big welcome to the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. I'm John Fugler, a little bit fatter since Thanksgiving and heavier. And uh, yeah, maybe you can relate to that. Oh, I'm a scholarship coach and a dad of two scholarship athletes. I'm also the CEO of Recruit Me. I'm a podcaster, author, and speaker. And our sponsor is my new book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook, a complete college recruiting roadmap for high school athletes and parents. It's available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback format and days away from launching it on Audible. I'm still waiting for the final approval on that. Uh, this podcast is 15 minutes. It will change your scholarship future. So I dig in. I give you takeaways you can use immediately. Now, you can find every episode on my website at recruitme.com, but it's easier on an app like the Apple Podcast app, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iHeart, and others. Uh, make sure you download a free chapter of my book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook. I've got it for you right there on the homepage of my website at recruitme.com. That's recruit hyphen me dot com. Thank you for the comments I've been receiving uh, just the other day. This one was so encouraging from a dad. He said, your book is amazing. And he's using it with his three kids and working on getting them scholarships. But that just kind of, you know, short and sweet. Your book is amazing. And thank you for for that encouragement. If you're reading the book right now, when you get done, if you could re leave me a review on Amazon, that would be awesome. And if you have any comments, please direct them to me at john at recruitme.com. Would uh, love to hear your comments on that. Speaking of reviews, I need some reviews on iTunes of uh, the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. If you're, if you're listening on the Apple Podcast app, it's easier than ever to leave a review. The new format updated app is uh, you can leave a review right there on the app. You, you weren't able to before, but you can now. So that's really cool. If you could do that and let me know what you think, let others know what you think and spread the word about this podcast. Well, tonight I'm heading up north to Denver to speak at a local school where a number of uh, schools are coming together. And I'll be speaking on how to get an athletic scholarship, of course. And what I'm going to dig into tonight uh, up there is how to uh, how to build your player profile, your resume. That's the key element, that key document you got to have if you're shooting for an athletic scholarship. So I'll be speaking on that. I'm actually going to videotape it. Hopefully that will come out okay and then be able to release that. So looking forward to that tonight. If you'd like me to speak to your group, whether it be a team or a group of teams, uh, go ahead and email me, john at recruitme.com. I'm in Colorado Springs, so I can't travel very far unless you want to pay my way. Would love that. Uh, but I can do it by Skype. So, you know, in this day and age, hey, let's do it. Let's do it. I can uh, do it live by Skype, take questions and all that. So I'm available for that. And on this episode, uh, I want to share with you as we, you know, we're in between Thanksgiving and and the end of the year, Thanksgiving and Christmas right now. And I want to pose to you, I'm going to kind of make you think in this episode. I'm going to pose to you three questions to set you up for success. As you move into 2018, be thinking about this. Three questions that will set you up for success. Now, these three questions work in anything that you're doing. Parents, it works for you as a parent. These questions work for you in your job. Uh, they work for you in other settings, projects you're doing, maybe even got a side business. I mean, these questions work for me with Recruit Me as I'm trying to make this uh, better and better with the instructions and resources that I have. And I really want to be a pace setter. So I've asked myself these questions. Uh, one of these questions I got from a book that I've been reading for my second time and really applying. In fact, I'm part of a community of people where we're really striving forward to um, really excel, uh, really go beyond what we would normally be able to accomplish. The book is called The One Thing. You may have heard of it. I've referred to it before by Gary Keller and Jay Papazan. Excellent book. I would highly recommend it. Uh, whether you're a parent or whether you're an athlete, pick that up. It, it'll just make you think 
and help you zero in as you're pursuing your goals, how to get there and really cut out the things that aren't going to help you get there. To focus, to ask some questions that are pretty profound and will get you to where you're going, help you get to where you, you to where you're going. So this first question that I want to ask you um, comes out of the the one thing. I don't think it's in the book, but we've been asking this in the community. Uh, a few hundred of us are part of this community. Uh, Jeff Woods is is leading us. He keeps coming back to this question, which I want you to listen and listen closely. It will make a huge difference as to whether you succeed or not and to what level you go to in your scholarship pursuit. So here it is. Are you doing your best or the best it can be done? Are you doing your best or are you doing it the best it can be done? Now, think about that for a minute. Let's let's go ahead and think about your talent and your skill set, athlete. And parents, think about your, your son or daughter in this. It, we encourage our kids, man, just go out and do your best. Go out and do your best. That sounds good on the surface, but if if they're going to do their best, they're relying on their own resources. If you parent are doing your best and whatever uh, whatever you're doing, whether it be at work or whether it be in the scholarship pursuit with your kid, are you doing your best or are you doing it the best it can be done? For me personally, as I think of Recruit Me, which I want to take to the next level, my abilities are limited. My um, my God-given skills, abilities, and bent, they're, they're limited. And I can do my best, but, you know, if I want Recruit Me to be a pace setter, to be the leader in, in, in coaching families to athletic scholarships, then I'm going to have to go outside myself. I'm going to have to rely on other people. I'm going to have to do more study. I'm going to have to do more training of myself in order to do this the best it can be done for recruit me to be the best it can be and not just the best that I'm able to make it. So let's look at this in regards to your scholarship uh, recruiting efforts. You want to get that athletic scholarship and you've got some skills and abilities in this. Maybe parent you're out, you're into marketing. So this is easy for you. Uh, Most aren't. And I, I hope that as you consider what you need to do to get your son or daughter an athletic scholarship, you won't just rely on your own abilities or your son or daughter's abilities in this scholarship pursuit. And that's why you're listening right now to this podcast. I hope you're learning things that are outside your skill set, outside of things you might be comfortable with, outside your knowledge base. There are other ways you can do that too in pursuing other resources. That's what... Um, well, for instance, the Athletic Scholarship Playbook will fill your mind with new things that will help you do this so it's the best it can be done, not just the best you can do. If you rely on your own abilities and the best you can do, you're going to fall short of where you could be. You're going to fall short of that goal that you have in most cases. Think about that. Think about what that really means. Are you doing your best? Or are you doing it the best it can be done? Athletes, I think about your uh, sport, as I mentioned, and you want to become the best. Not the best you can be, but beyond the best. I mean, if you rely on your own resources and your own abilities to become the best, you're not going to get there. But if you have somebody, for instance, a coach or a mentor who stays with you, and who really pushes you and sets the bar high and teaches you how to achieve the next level, you're going to go a lot further than if you try to do it on your own. You're going to go a lot further than even just doing it among your friends and teammates. You're going to, you're going to go beyond what you ever thought possible. But you've got to get outside yourself. You've got to do more than the best you can do. But think about how can I do this, whatever you're doing in your sport, the best it can be done. Think about that. In an athletic scholarship pursuit, how could I do this pursuit 
in the best it can be done. I'll tell you right now, you don't have the answer. You don't have the answer. I don't have the answer when I think of recruit me. But you don't have the answer yet. And that's great. It's outside yourself. So begin seeking that answer. Talk to people. Latch on to some resources. Really propel yourself. Set your sights high. So that's the first question. As you can see, that can work for whatever you do. Big or small, whatever you, whatever you do. Secondly, second question is this. Where do you see yourself one year from now? Where do you see yourself one year from now? Let, let's, um, let's talk about athletically, okay? Let's focus on that. Where do you see yourself? If you're a senior this year, at what school do you see yourself at one year from now? Set that bar high. If you're a sophomore, where do you see yourself one year from now? Think about uh, your skill set. Think about um, maybe a, a camp you, you're, you're thinking about attending, and one year from now you will have attended that camp. Where do you want to be in this scholarship journey one year from now? Where do you see yourself? Uh, perhaps it's 25 coaches that I'm in relationship with and we're talking back and forth. That's where I see myself one year from now. Or maybe 30 coaches. You've got that goal. Parents, where do you see yourself, or your son or daughter, one year from now? And think big. Project it a year ahead. It's important that you think about that or else you'll get so caught up in the minutia. You get so caught up in the process, you're going to forget where you're going. You won't know what your destination is. So be thinking, where do you see yourself one year from now? Write it out. Be as specific as you can. Not just, oh, 25 coaches I'm in contact with. But what does that look like? Spell it out in detail. What does it mean they're in contact with you and you're in contact with them? Is it email? Have you made a visit? Are they calling you? Specifically, so you have it in your mind that you know exactly where you're going with that goal. So that's the second question. And that's a big one too. <laughs> Each of these questions is pretty big. They could survive on their own and keep you occupied for a while. But we're talking about making 2018 count. You got to stretch yourself. You got to be thinking in ways that most people don't think. It starts in the mind and it plays itself out in your actions. The third of the three questions is this. When you think about one year from now and where you'll be, okay, you got that in mind? Here's the question. What's the biggest challenge to getting there? What's your biggest challenge to getting there? And I'm to, I, I want to you narrow it down to one what is the biggest challenge to getting to where you want to be one year from now? Think about that. I'm not talking about making a list of five or 10 things that are going to, uh, these challenges or roadblocks. No, you, you can't hurdle all those. What is that one hurdle that you need to fly over in order to be where you want to be, where you've stated you're going to be one year from now? Uh, think about it as a domino. And this comes from the, the one thing as well. Uh, you have a domino and 50 dominoes behind it. You got picture the one domino and the next one's 50% higher and the next one after that's 50% higher. 50% higher. And so the, the last one's absolutely huge. So you hit the first domino, knocks down the second, which knocks down the third, which knocks down the fourth. And man, you are on a roll. And each domino having more weight and more momentum more force, and all 50 are knocked down. But you got to hit the first domino. What is the first domino? You don't want to have a domino going off into left field when you need to be going into right field. So what is that one challenge, the biggest challenge, and I know there are many, to getting to where you want to be one year from now? Those are three questions that you need to consider and talk over. And these are great dinner time questions too around the dinner table. Really have some fun with these. Apply them not only to your recruiting and scholarship, but apply these to life. Maybe to your academics, students, parents, to your jobs, your uh, 
you're parenting your your son or daughter and leading them in this whole scholarship process. There's so many ways that you can apply these. So those three questions, once again, are, are you doing your best or are you doing, are you doing it the best it can be done? Are you doing your best or are you doing it the best it can be done? Secondly, where do you see yourself one year from now? Be specific. And third, what's the biggest challenge to getting there? Wow, I had fun with this episode and we're all out of time. So uh, let me close with this. Remember a couple things. One, get the free chapter from my book, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook at recruit-me.com. Secondly, please leave me a review for this podcast. You can do it real easy, especially if you have a an iPhone or an iPad, you're listening on the Apple Podcast app, you can leave that review there. And uh, check out my book on Amazon. The audio book is coming soon, maybe next week when I uh, uh, when I come back on Tuesday, it'll be up and ready to go. So that's it for now. I'll report back to you uh, about my uh, speaking coming up uh, tonight. And if you uh, would like me to speak to your group, just contact me, John at RecruitMe.com. Let me know what you thought of this episode in particular, okay? It's a little bit different, a little bit different. Uh, please contact me. There's a link in my show notes, a uh, link in my show notes to all the things I mentioned in here so you don't have to re- remember those web addresses. Again, take care. Have a great week. I'll talk to you next Tuesday.